Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. Let's just hop in here. So, we have our bonuses here. I'm going to roll my dice. We are playing as the Fell Orcs, and that is 10. So, that is Lost Artifacts, because that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom. Lost Artifacts. So, we are going hard, hard, hard as a hero. So let's see how this all goes. We are playing against the orcs up top, Torin bottom, and he picked Rage Totem Skirmisher as his bonus, and the dwarves across the way. So that probably means we're going to be going tier two in the middle <coughs> pretty quickly, unless we've got a gold mine around here. We do not. So uh, no complaints on that end. Tempted to quickly buy just a quick little... Um, tier 1 bonus, but I think I would rather go tier 2. Yeah, because we're, I mean, they're going to be beating us just because they've got the Rage Totem Skirmishers up, and then and then he picked Warriors, so that's a T1 bonus, so the only bonus we don't know right now is the Dwarf bonus, but he's already going for melee armor, so that means we are going to be having to capitalize on the middle fairly quickly just because you know we know that he's already making he has 300 less gold than, than us pretty much 100% known um, because of his upgrades he's also getting pushed out of the middle and so am I he, oh he's so he's also gone for tier 2 level of weapons that is just fine and do we and we don't know what they're going for just yet all right so it's going... I mean, we're only two minutes into the game, so it's kind of hard to predict how things are going, but I think if we grab this portal, because we're going to be getting a pretty good little bump right here, I will throw out just one unit just to avoid kind of some of that unnecessarily unnecessary damage that we would take. So I'm going to be picking, tier, picking up tier two there. Then I think we can go for basic Thorium weapons. Just because I would like to be able to hit a little bit harder. It's only 150 gold, so it's also not a tremendous amount. So I will be picking that up. And then they're going to be coming in, but I can throw out one slasher and we can hold them for a fair amount of time. Because he, he's he got a good back line, but a almost non-existent front line. Are we going to have to send two out? I think so. So there it is. And we've de for 100 gold, we've defended our lane from getting hit that much harder. Our hound mistresses, who are, who are just awesome models, by the way, absolutely love them, um, are going to be cruising, cruising, cruising. And perhaps thorium armor? I'm also tempted by the cursed stone, since it looks like our side lanes are going to be a little difficult to hold. So having more building HP will probably not be a bad thing. I'll let them have it. I'll let them have a little bit of damage there. Because if I remember correctly, we do have Reconstruction Aura, but I'm not entirely sure. The good news is we are going to be holding the middle pretty well here. And I'm trying to figure out whether I want to push tier two against the Tauren or the Orcs first. And frankly, it comes to who I want to be fighting endgame more than anything. And the Torrens have gotten a pretty nice amount of buffs lately. So, hmm. They're four and one, so their units are very, very powerful. but it looks like we're building up enough of a line here to start defending. I do kind of want to make up for the lack of armor and evasion right now, but I would also really like to start picking up some neutrals. And I think I would rather fight the Torin endgame instead of the Orcs, if I'm being honest. So I think that's what we're going to do. We also would really like to get our heroes out as soon as possible. 
in order to really capitalize on our bonus. 879, 891. Our GPM really isn't great. 515. Yeah, so the orcs do have the most GPM, so with that in mind, I will be pushing up against the orcs. Come on, we're 10 gold away. a crossbowman and there we are good 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 so we've got tier two there and we're starting to command the middle a little bit he's got one level of armor and I think I would like to get one level of armor as well Yeah, I mean, his, his front line right now is really, really nice. He just picked up an extra level of melee. So those guys are going to be a little difficult to deal with. But I'm not super, super worried about it. But still, would rather not have to deal with super-powered orcs, basically. We were going to be getting tier 2 weapons. Just because it looks like we're finally pushing them out. And I would like to keep doing that. <laughs> and then we're probably going to be going tier 2 bottom as well. Or some cursed stones. I think the cursed stones would probably be the best choice for us at this moment. Yes, because he's also gone two levels of economy. Great, so that's upgrading. That's upgrading. I'm trying to... Probably Demon Blood and Fell Blades are going to be what I'm going to be going for next. Okay, so we, we did bait out a Tier 1 spell, which is nice. But unfortunately, he has just gone Tier 2 against us, which means he's going to be pushing back out pretty quickly. I want to be pretty quickly, pretty much immediately. And how are we doing in the middle? Okay, so the dwarves have finally... Everyone's gone tier 2 in the middle now. Alright. They're going to pick that from us, but that's just fine. I think I will pick up one level of gate, though. Just so we can hit a little harder, defend our base a little bit better for the inevitable, inevitable tier 2 pushbacks that we get from both the Tauren and the orcs here. So sitting at 940, 950. How are the dwarves doing in terms of upgrades? Okay, so they're, they're going kind of more for a tanky upgrade, but that's... <laughs> I didn't even mean to make that pun, but there it is. And now, honestly, may be the time that I kind of sit and wait for tier 2. Because this is going to provide us a good amount of gold for a tier 1 spell. And then I can get Gore Grimwolf out here. And finally be able to really kind of start dominating. He's still Tribal Totem level 1. Excellent. Okay, hopefully they're going to be able to... Five, four, two, one. Unfortunately, I think they're going to get their... Oh no, because we have an extra 100% range. Not 100%, just an extra 100 range. Good, and that'll calm... That'll calm them down pretty, pretty nicely there. And then I will probably have to spend... One or two... Units here, just to keep my base alive. Which he knows generally kind of a good thing. Alright, so we're sitting at a thousand. Eleven hundred. I really just want to get this tier two out. One zero. Now we're fine. Now we're back. 
Come on, give me this tier two. Oh, and they are going to be pushing us back out. Well, th their upgrades are just light years ahead of ours right now. Because I think I'm two and one right now. Yeah. Which is not good. But I think it's going to be offset by how powerful our heroes get. Especially if we start pumping them out right now. Especially if we're like the first people to get a hero into the middle. Zero. Okay. Good, good, good. And then just the fact that we're holding may convince me to ease up a little bit. Like, I, uh, in terms of unit upgrades, I think I can wait until I get the Elder Warlock out. Yeah, because we're already halfway there. We're five, 518, 533. Let's check our GPM. 658. So we're the second highest GP, GPM. So that means in less than a minute we're going to get enough to push back here. So they're 3-3, three and three, so that's not great. But we now also know he's starting to push the dwarves in. 782, 904. I'm tempted to send the Blade Master in, but I don't think... The reason why I would send the Blade Master in is to get him a lot of really easy experience. And let's try it out. Let's see if this works. Because since there's probably not going to be a ton of aggro on him specifically, that may give him... Oh, no, we don't. Interesting. Okay, so Corruption Aura is what we'll pick. We're going to get Advanced Thorium Weapons, so we'll be 3 and one which is already far more acceptable than not. And then we're going to be picking up the 200 Pillage. Because another reason why I picked Jubathos here is because hopefully he'll be able to get enough levels here to kind of help cut out if any other heroes land. Because all of a sudden, getting a level 4 or 5 hero on, you know, primary, what I would assume would probably be a level 1 mage hero, he can make pretty quick and devastating work of it out of them. He's already level 4, and he got Gloves of Haze plus 3% attack. He is very nice for an assassin hero. And we're finally starting to push them back, and now is when we can really start going for some upgrades. Kind of make my hero, make my units not as terrible as they currently are. Because they're going to be 3-3 three and three before we know it. And then that's when I think we can really start snowballing here. Liquid fire. I don't know if, like, it's good, but I don't know if it's an immediate priority. Five. Two. One. Boom. We're good. We're going to be picking that up. Jubithos is level 6. We're starting to make a little extra money from the dwarves, which is lovely. Very nice of him. He's gone tier 3 in the middle. Interesting choice. Jubithos is now level 7. Excellent. And we're finally pushing them back out. I think I will pick up an extra improved gate and demon blood. Fellblades also could be really, really nice. For the bronze beards, I'm hoping that's going into me. Into the mid, but I don't think it will. At least it probably shouldn't. Oh no, it is. Okay, very interesting. So we are, we're finally pushing them back out. Let's get our aggro going. Jubathos is level 8 with a Ring of Regeneration, which I'm actually very, very content with. 
Yeah, and Muradin just is getting chomped. Oh no, there he is. I thought <laughs> I thought that little unit was Muradin. It was not. But now Jubathos is starting to focus Muradin, so hopefully that might be able to knock him out. At the very least, do a significant amount of damage to him. And here comes Karen Bloodhoof. That means that I am going to be upgrading our advanced gates. And then probably sending out... Um, we'll see who we send out to deal with that. But we are, we're doing good work against Muradin here. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So we're sitting at 1,200 gold. I think I'll go, f uh, I think I'll go tier three into the orcs. Because I know that they just spent a lot of resources here. So that means that statistically speaking, they may not necessarily have enough to go tier three against me right away. And it looks like Murden will be dying here soon. Yeah, because Jubathos. There it is, and he got Soul Ring. Excellent. So that's an extra item for us, and a pretty much nullified hero for the dwarves. However, I do wish that Murden had at least gotten level 4 in because that would have helped me see if that was his upgrade, if that was his unit upgrade or not. His bonus. And this will not require um, someone with, like, the, the killing capability of... Jubathos, but I'm tempted to send Gorgrimwolf into the middle. So he can pick up some experience, but I think this, I would rather deal with this first. And we have a very nice push going here that might be a tier 2 or a hero, depending. So we're sitting 1500 to 10. Zero. I'll send the Axe Master out. Because Karen is level 6, but he's also getting hit by a lot of different shenanigans. Just in order to kind of give us a little bit of a boost, because he does have that uh, second level. Um, does he have two heroes in the mid? Interesting. So he has two heroes in the mid, so I might just let them have it for a little bit. Our town is under attack. It's always under attack. And I think what I am going to do here is also go for a tier 3 push here. Okay, good. Grom stayed here. That's exactly what I wanted. Because that gives him the chance to last hit Cairn. I will lead them to their destiny. Lead them to their destiny. That's Thrall. Thrall's not coming out to us. Just fine by me. No complaints on this end. Great. So he got the Gloves of Haste, but I do not think he got the kill on him. Which is fine. So they're 1 and 4. And they're 5 and 4. Okay, so they're, they're stronger than my units are, but... We can rectify that very quickly. 816. Yeah, so we're still there and we're catching up to the orcs, which is exactly what I wanted. And we're going to let this push go through. I have no true desire to pull this push away from the orcs. Alright, did we upgrade that? Yes, we did. Thank you. Grom's level 5, so he's not going to get as much experience as I, was, as I would have liked, but, well, there's the tier 2 thing, and he has so little um, 
of mana right now that, frankly, a tier 3, maybe even tier 4 push right here might be enough to break him. Actually, depending on how this is going, this might just be where we break him here. No, I don't think... No, we didn't have enough. Oh, well. For the war chief and the tribes. So that's Cairn. Yeah, that's a huge push. That was exaggeration. I don't... So that must be against the dwarves then. Demon Blood Fell Blades, Burning Arrows, Lacerate Tempting. Tempting to do Lacerate. And I will be I will be throwing out um, Grom here. Just because I think, honestly, at this point, this is going to be a nice little chunk of experience for him. And I want to keep... Um, Gore Grimhow for the middle. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, we actually destroyed his left barracks. Okay, wonderful. Good to know. We just picked up a lot of gold. I'm going to be sending him into the middle then. Yeah, because that, that'll be a nice little chunk of experience for our boy here and he already has warrior gauntlets amazing chief's hall level three so he's digging in he, he he's not done yet which is awesome so i'll be picking that up we should be getting basic fell magic in that stuff now it's just a little ridiculous i don't have it yet frankly Grom is getting a decent amount of experience here. Oh, that's a shame. But makes me feel less bad for now just... That's for allies. I know I probably shouldn't say that I'm attacking him, but at the same time, <laughs> it's 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 not really messing with my overall game. Great, so he so Grom's gonna start hitting real fast here. So we're picking that up. I think we're gonna be picking up multi shot. Enraged Beasts, and then probably Fell Shield. Yeah. You know, Gore's having a bit of a rough time, but it's Gore. He's... You know, it's not ideal, but we're getting there. But he got the Fear Aura, which is awesome. Oh, Rexar's in the middle. That's why this is being a problem. Now, this should be a tier 2 spell that we drop here. This aggro is all over the place, but we're making money off of it. That's the important part. And honestly, if we pick a turret, which it looks like we're going to be... Oh, no, not quite. Good aggro management here. So we're not we're not gonna get quite as much as I'd hoped, but you know Grom's doing work. Still still just level nine. All right, and that's going well in the bottom. I should go tier three in the middle. Research complete. Grom is just refusing to die. Even going up against the likes of Samuro, he's just kind of like, no, I'm good. This is a mess, but not nearly as one-sided as I had hoped it would be. 
I was hoping to get a little more gold from him, but that's how it is. We're going to be getting some better Arcanite Wipongs. And then I'll send Jubathos against Saburo. And frankly, that should be able to break a good amount of his base. Hopefully. At least a turret, maybe a barracks if we're lucky, but... Rexar... Rexar's in mid. And frankly, if we can keep him in mid for a while, I wouldn't complain about that. Okay, good, that was me. Research complete. Okay. I think I am going to pick this up. Because I should have enough to send my Blade Master out. Or would I... I think it might actually be better if I say Gorgrim, if I send Gorgrimhal out. Because that will give him some experience that he kind of needs, because he's kind of falling behind at this point. I do not want my nuker hero to fall behind. And we're definitely going to be enough gold for him, as well as an extra level of nether portal. I should also be picking up liquid fire immediately. <laughs> I will also send out just a little tier 1 spell just to kind of calm things down for a little bit. Focus on Samuro, please. The heroes will take care. Yeah, Samuro's getting hurt badly here. Just got level 8, another Gloves of Haste, which is fine. Per perfectly adequate. I will be picking up Liquid Fire. I will be upgrading multi-shot, so our attack rate uh, debuff is lessened by 10%. And then, what do I want next? What do I want next? So Rexar and all of them, they're going down there. That's awesome. Yeah, good. So we've forced Rexar out. 747. Um, might as well get that for a little bit, because now it's also going to start getting to the point where, you know, middle is going to be a lot of pressure. It, it's it's, it's going to be lo a, a little more intense from this point out. So we're researching that. Yeah, so there they go. The there goes the last torrent. Last raid. That's Research like no money. So might as well just do that. But that also means I will be going tier 4 into... Research complete. Okay, so that, good. So we got a tier 2 spell off of that, as well as getting the dwarves calming down. They cannot stop the horde. I would like to go tier 2 into, uh, tier 4 into bottom. There's Thrall, alright. Thrall's level 10, so that's a pretty beefy Thrall. And I would like to push mid. But actually, yeah, Gord's gonna die in, like, minutes, so... An ally oh, we don't have him out yet. Alright. Send out the Blade Master. Good. We're gonna start pushing them out here. Dirt Sword is going to be really irritating. Advanced Arcanine Research Armor, complete. and then we can save up for Tier 4 bottom. Karen Bloodhoof is going to be a thorn in our sides for a while, but that's... 
Mythos is level 11, and he is Django of the Horde, which is one of my favorite freaking things. Just because, I mean, look at that. 1,000 HP. 15 mana, 50% mana per second. 2 HP per second, and then an 8% Endurance Aura. Which increases movement speed and attack rate. So basically, now that whenever we, we have... Um, Jubathos out. Ooh, this was a misplay on my part. I'd rather not even play with it. I'd rather just force him out. because we've got a great push going down here, and I think I am going to go Tier 4. I know I was saying I was going to do it bottom, but I think against the Orcs. The Orc player is much better than I first thought he was. So with that in mind, I will be trying to kill him with everything in my power. <laughs> and our Infernals were adequate. But... You know, it's it's still just a it's still just a bad tier two. Really not a fan of it, but hey, that's how that's how it is. That's how the game works. Now we're pushing it back against the doors and we're making money. Which are some of my favorite things. And I think then Jubathos. Come on, that's an easy murder in bronze beard right there. Oh well. I would like to get more liquid fire, actually. Don't be by my side, do ya? Thrall's dying. And I would like to send Grom out against him. Did he just lose 150 for level 2? Oh, because I guess he must have just gotten Warrior's Gauntlets again. That's a bit of... It's a bit unlucky, but it's not the end of the world either. Yeah, so there goes Jubathos. Okay, we're making a ton of money off of the... Dwarves, which is awesome. And they have very little mana as well, so I'm going to try and really kind of push the mana out of them here. Ring of Protection, so that means he did get the kill on Thrall, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. And we're going to be getting our tier 3 soon, which means we can get fell boulders as well as our tier 3, our, well, our special unit. More gold is required. Oh, come on, More it's 5 gold. gold. You can't give me, like, a little discount? Thank you. What level is this? Okay, so still level 3. So nothing devastatingly concerning. Grom is level 13. Excellent. Upgrade. Fight on, my warriors. They cannot stop the horde. They cannot stop the horde? I don't know. My fell my fell horde is looking looking to do exactly that, my friends. So 765, I just want a thousand for fell boulders because that'll really help our unit potential, which I think is just kind of where we're going to be having a little bit of difficulty just because our units are just less good. But the fell flames and stuff like that, that's really helping out. Okay, Rexar is level 18. That's a beefy Rexar. But we've got... Oh, we had excellent aggro on 
the barracks, but we're gonna pick a tur- Okay, we're gonna pick a turret. I was like, come on. We're gonna pick a turret. And unless he drops his tier two here, we might be doing a lot more damage here. Okay, so he's also gotten hit hard on his middle barracks. Yeah, so basically what I just need to do is destroy... But, oh, but that's all... Um... Orc. That's fine. That's a tier one spell, and like, that's it. It's level 20 Rexar. It's not a joke. <laughs> but we, we, we have enough for Xerox. Because I would really, I would need Xerox to kind of deal with Rexar at this point. And this, unfortunately, we got a really bad um, spawn. Really good for him, but really bad for us. How is that getting hit so hard? Oh, I've got to throw him out. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get our Xerox stream, but we'll be keeping our base. I will have to tier two, much to my chagrin. But, Gore's getting a lot of good experience here. Murden's gonna go down very quickly, and then Born Thornton shouldn't last very long against the onslaught of Jubathos. And then I will be upgrading this to tier 4 to help its health a little bit. And then, once Rexar goes down, we've taken out a large piece that's arrayed against us. So Jubathos has the fear or oh my god, Jubathos is just built like a monster here. I love it. Okay, and it looks like Rexar just died. Excellent. And I will I'll do what I take. Do I send my special unit now? No, I think I'm gonna have to hold off. The reason why I'm holding off is because... Is because I don't want him to send three... I don't want him to to, um, I don't want to send a very weak special unit, like a level 1 special unit. I want him to get a little bit of experience, which in hindsight he probably could have gotten, but I think this is a safer pick, uh, push. Good. And this also gives us the time to get a couple high-level uh, pushes in. High-level high, high research in. So Thralls just hit the gate, hit the, um, hit the field. Will it be enough? I think it will to stop us. Because he's level 19. I mean, that's also... Ooh. Oh, 
The gore. Gore's got also Django of the Horde and the Fear Aura, so. Alright, so we're gonna be picking that from the bottom. And we are gonna be picking his barracks. Oh my god. The aggro. <laughs> Alright, so we've picked up his bottom barracks. Let's get some chaos armor as well as that. An allied hero has been killed. Yeah, so Gorgrimwolf has fallen. Might as well get the fell shield. Cause, yeah, because we've got a lot of gold coming in right now. Now I'm going to let him push back in. Jubathos is just an absolute monster right now. He's going to die, like, now. But... He did some work for us. <laughs> Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. But this push, this push will break him. Research complete. Here comes Xerox. I don't want to send all three heroes. I don't want to send three heroes. I think two heroes. Yeah, but Thrall's getting melted. Xerox is already level three. This is exactly the push I wanted. So we're sitting at 2,000 send you out before it gets too aggressive here. And what are we dealing with here? Jubathos and... Ooh, and Korgal. Alright. This is kind of an all or nothing type of deal. We're gonna be getting improved gateway. Absolutely. We're gonna be healing. We're gonna be hoping we push through this very quickly. Okay, good. He's already got the Doomora up. I still don't have this as tier 4. I'm a bit of an idiot in that sense, but... Psilius, Devotion Aura. Okay, so we've got a lot of auras on our guys right now. That's excellent. Advanced Gateway. We also know that he doesn't have a lot of heroes at his disposal to defend these barracks. There's also a push going in here. And his barracks are barely holding on. I mean, he should have enough for a tier 2 spell, but yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage coming in here. Another basic portal. I, I want to upgrade these defenses as much as we possibly can. I mean, this, I I really don't know how I'm going to hold this with just score Grimwolf. Uh, um, with just Grom. Like, Xerox needs to die and he's not going to be dying fast enough.
but we've got that. I have a lot of gold right now. Research. Is there anything that helps me kind of now? Not really. The second Grom goes down, I can send him back. are going to win this. Yeah, it's and that's really where the items came in clutch. Because we just destroyed that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Sergeant Neutral Plays Survival Chaos. Congratulations to Tune 29, Night 26 Run, Lever Green, and to everybody else. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.